All right, guys. Well, this is update number 24 on the 37 rat rod. Okay, so uh, what we're doing is I'm working on the trunk. Okay, I'm still got to build out the sides and all because when we put this car on this frame, we cut the entire floor out of it. So now I'm building, you know, the bottom layer between the wheels and it, so not everything's spraying, everything like that. Now in the last video, I did the left side and it got late and I had to stop. And I've been working on the 64 lately, and we're gonna have to do another couple videos on that to get it where I want it. But for right now, we're on this today. So what I've got is my bin of scrap metal. Now this is all the metal and stuff that I cut out of the car. And, you know, I keep everything. So I've got all around, it's crazy bin shapes, whatever, from whatever I cut out. So what I'm gonna do is start fitting those pieces in stitching them up, making them look rat, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll show you some photos right now. We did get, you know, the gas tank uh, tray in, I guess you'd call it. Um, I do need to make the straps for that, but I wanna wait until I get it all buttoned up on the sheet metal work so I can just go ahead and mount the actual tank and be done with it. So anyway, guys, we're gonna start fitting. It's, a jig it's like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm gonna start fitting some pieces together and figuring it out. All right. All right guys, well, it's all closed up. Um, I went with this whole random stitch kind of tack, long tacks to give it a look. I really want it to be like Frankenstein-ish, you know, just slam together everything. So I'll take a picture of it so you can see it. And then we started to need, I need to make the mount for the fuel pump. Um, I don't want to just tuck it under. I want it where I can get to it and regulate it. So. Uh, I think on this other side, I'm gonna do that. All right, so to mount the fuel pump, I need to come up. I wanna mount it off of the, you know, down by the frame and whatnot, so it's, it's 30. This fuel pump makes a shit ton of noise. It's loud as could be, so I really wanna put it in the back of the car so I'm not listening to it just when I'm sitting still. So, I'm not gonna hear it over the motor when it's running, but when it's sitting still, this pump's gonna be loud. So I've got these pieces that I cut off the step bumper on the 64. Nice thick steel, diamond plate, whatever, I'll use it. So we're gonna cut this up and make it come up, over, and then up for the bolt tube. So uh, got a couple different tricky spots to figure out, but uh, I'm gonna work on that. All right guys, so we have the fuel pump mounted, the air compressor mounted, and I've got the fuel tank in, but we need a way to tie it down. It fits in tight, but just in case I had a bump, I don't know, tie it in. And you got anything crazy, normally people use little thin straps, but uh, what I've done is cut some chain that I had laying on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chain, drill and bolt it, both sides it's easy to get off I can just unbolt this side and flip the chains up so I'm gonna do that and that'll be my tank tied out so the tank I think I'm gonna paint it there's that plastic paint I just don't like the cream color so do that but uh, not right now we'll figure it out so anyway um, right now I'm just gonna make the tie downs
right guys, so we got our fuel pump. We got our compressor, fuel tanks down, air tanks mocked up. So that's our trunk. So we'll pick it up from there. All right guys, so I'm gonna do something a little different than I've done before. I'm gonna ask for your guys' input, all right? So I'm gonna show you the trunk and I'm gonna show you the trunk lid. Now there's a couple different ways, different options that I've got in my head, but kind of wanna see what you guys think will look cool, all right? So I'm gonna show you the trunk, the lid, and then we'll all talk right, about it. So that's with the lid on, okay? I'll even move this way so you can get a full look at it. I, I know I gotta fix this, but it's because there's a bad dent there. Um, So there's with the lid on. All right. Now, so what you guys gotta remember is the car's up in the air right now. Okay, when this thing's down on the ground, my feet are gonna be here. So that means when this lid, if we open it like normal, you know, it's not, it's gonna be right above my knees. I don't know. So, couple ideas, all right? So, first idea, you see I haven't welded this out because I'm trying to figure it out, is we make it split. So the top half opens one way, the bottom opens the other, and it opens up like this. Okay, that's option one. Option two is we just make it open like normal. Option three, I rework it so it opens this way and leans back. So it opens up like this, okay? And option four, is so we split it right down the middle and we make it open like barn doors. So it literally opens like, you know, barn doors. I mean, so you just grab it and it splits in the middle and it has two halves that come up like this and you open it up and you get back close to it. So, I mean, that's what we can do. We can either go normal, reverse tilt, open like a mouth or open like barn doors. So I want to see what your guys' input is on it. I'm up in the air. So uh, comment what you guys think and uh, we'll figure it out. All right, have a good one guys. Do me a favor, like, subscribe. Appreciate it, thanks.